Hi Pisces. I'm going to do your reading for you and we'll find out what you need to know. I'm just going to shuffle these three times. One more time, Pisces. Get the energy going into the cards. What's happening with Pisces spirits? Okay. We have the Emperor, which is Aries energy, and the Nine of Wands. There's something, there's some energy here that's telling me that you're very much in control, except for you're feeling exhausted over something there's something here that where you feel like the wounded warrior you're tired but you're not giving up you're not backing down on something it's like i'm seeing you in control in the emperor energy we'll go back and clarify the cards We have the Lovers, Gemini Energy, and the Fool. There's someone here that you have a lot of love for, you, for, and I feel like they have a lot of love for you with the Lovers card energy here. And I see someone taking a leap of faith. With the Fool card, this is not knowing all the answers, but taking a leap of faith. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. I'm seeing you here being single in the Nine of Pentacles energy. And you could be looking out, like wanting to start something new. Like everything looks perfect here, but I feel like there's something missing. And I'm seeing some something new coming in for you. This could be a messenger with the Page of Wands energy. Justice, Libra energy, and the world. With justice here, I'm seeing some type of scales being balanced out, like something coming into balance in your life. Like, um, you were treated unfairly. And there's some type of real justice and balance coming into your life. And I'm seeing you being able to completely close out a cycle, enter into a new cycle with the world card. And then after you close out a cycle, there's a cycle that's completely ending here. It's like you're getting your justice and you're moving on. And then I have the Six of Cups and the Tower. So we're going to clarify this and find out what it means. Maybe this means 
you know, I have the Six of Cups. I have someone from your past. Maybe this tower is a complete ending. Like, everything is done. It's, like, gone. But we'll go back and clarify. The tower usually comes in and takes down something. It's a shocking change. I have the Four of Swords. And judgment. With the Four of Swords energy, this is you putting your swords up on the wall and healing. It's like you're... You're taking a break. You're done with fighting and everything. Or um, whatever has caused you pain. And you're just taking a break healing. And then I'm seeing judgment coming in. A judgment call. <clears throat> okay, so why is the emperor here? The Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you're taking control in the Emperor energy. This is you taking control of some type of stability here with the Three of Pentacles. And starting something new. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Something that's going to be long-lasting, dependable. It's like um, the beginning of something where you're building a stable foundation here. Why is the Nine of Wands here? But there's something here that you're holding back from. Because three plus one is four, which would be the Four of Pentacles. Okay, and then we have the Eight of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords and the High Priestess, which is you, the High Priestess. I'm seeing you here, like looking at the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is something that. I feel like you're waiting for to happen and you you're holding up your sword to it it's like Aquarius Libra Gemini energy you're holding up your sword to and just waiting for something to happen here you're thinking with your head and not your heart and with the High Priestess energy, this is you. There's something hidden from you that you're not seeing. It's like you're using your intuition and you're feeling like um, something's going to happen here. Something that you could be waiting for and you have your sword up to it. You're feeling like exhausted, worn out with the Nine of Wands energy. This is the Wounded Warrior. And then with the Lover's card here. Just start with these two. We have the Five of Swords and the Three of Swords. There's someone here that you walked away from that I feel like caused you this Three of Swords. This is a lot of pain. And um, I feel like you just gave up with this person and walked away. They could have put you in a three-party situation and just been really in their ego and... I'm getting like some type of a jerk or something just really in their ego. They didn't care who they hurt. And then we have the Three of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Whoever this person is, 
they're coming back. They want to reconcile with you. They're coming in as the Knight of Cups. So they're coming in with some type of an emotional message here. They're wanting to take a leap of faith. Why is the Fool here? The Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Yeah, they're taking a they're going to be taking a leap of faith here with the Fool card. This is someone about ready to jump off of a cliff or walk off of a cliff, not knowing what's on the other side. <clears throat> and um This is a home, a family. It could be a blended family. But someone's showing up here with a um with an emotional message with the Page of Cups. With an emotional offer. Okay, and then let's look at the bottom of the deck here. We have the Five of Pentacles. This is little to no communication with someone. Someone who could have refused your love in the past, which left you up in your head like this. Um, I'm feeling like, like it really left you in some state of feeling like some type of abandonment or something. And so now you have to make a decision here because I see this person coming back. Okay, let's use this other deck. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? And I'm seeing you here in the Nine of Pentacles energy. It's like you're feeling good now. You're taking care of yourself. Um, taking care of your money. Everything's going good for you. The Ten of Pentacles. The Three of Wands. And the Emperor. I feel like, see, everybody wants this Ten of Pentacles. This is happy home, happy family. Everything's going great. This is the money's good, everything's good. This is sitting on top of the Nine of Pentacles where I'm seeing you as being single. It's like you're you're taking control here and um with the Emperor energy. And I really see you like you're here in the Nine of Pentacles. I'm seeing you like you've went so far that there's no turning back now. You've gone too far. There's no turning back now. You're looking into the future now. When this person comes back wanting to offer you this Ten of Pentacles. It's like they may come back and want to move in or just um, pick up where they left off. Why is the Page of Wands here? They're wanting a new start. Why is the Page of Wands here? The Knight of Cups. Okay, so we have Empress, Taurus energy. The Six of Cups and the Knight of Cups. See, someone's coming back wanting to start over again in the Page of Wands energy. This is someone from your past with the Six of Cups. And they're, they're coming in with an emotional offer here.
but I feel like they're like something is stopping them. It's like they're stopping and looking. And then we have the Empress. So this is someone who sees you as the Empress. This is also, you are the Empress. It's like I'm seeing you in the Nine of Pentacles energy also where you're taking care of everything. There's new ideas that you're bringing to life. You're taking care of yourself. Everything is looking beautiful around you. Why is justice here? And I see when this person shows up, there's like some type of justice coming in for you. Why is justice here? The Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Leo energy with the strength card. So see, this is your energy. You're showing up here having incredible strength and courage. I feel like when this person shows up, it's like you're, these are, this is a repeating card. You're in the Nine of Pentacles energy. It's like I'm seeing you having courage and strength and it's like you're holding the tenth pentacle, like you're happy. You're grounded, stable, very loving and giving person and happy. And when they show up here, I'm seeing inner strength from within you coming out. Having courage and strength. And some type of justice coming in, some type of truth. Why is the world here? The tower yeah see there's there's an ending here some type of shocking ending the knight of wands and the king of wands There's a shocking, this is going to shock you because I feel like you're feeling like perfectly fine here in the Queen of Pentacles energy. When this person comes back, male or female, you're feeling good. It's like um, everything, it's like you've planted your gardens, everything's going good. And then I'm seeing a shocking message coming in. Something you're not expecting with the Tower card. And... I have the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands. So someone's rushing in in this Knight of Wands energy with a lot of passion. And this person's looking at doing this right now. It's like whoever this person is, they want to come in and do this. But I feel like something's holding them back. Their um, energy is going from the Knight of Wands to the King of Wands. And so they're like, they're coming in more mature. Why is the Six of Cups here? And so this could be shocking to you. Like this person, when they come back, I, I feel like you're going to see a change in this person. Why is the Six of Cups here? The Page of Cups. The Six of Wands. And the Queen of Cups. See, this is someone from your past. 
they're thinking about you. I feel like they're watching you. And um, this is someone like I told you. This is someone that you have a lot of love for. And I'm seeing them show up here wanting a new beginning with the Page of Cups energy. But let's move on because I keep seeing this person coming back. Why is the tower here? Now we have the tower. So this is some type of sudden, sudden change that you're not expecting. Why is the tower here? Nine of swords. Four of pentacles. And the Two of Swords. This, when this person comes back, it's going to be like a tower moment. Like you're going to be shocked. And so you're going to be really up in your head about making a decision here. See, you're going to need to make a decision and I see you feeling blindfolded and trying to guard your heart when they come back because it's like shocking. I'm seeing them come back different and I see you holding back, holding back from making a decision when they come back. Why is the Four of Swords here? The Magician, the Nine of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Someone's trying to come up with an idea on how to come back and how to approach you. And they're feeling a lot of sadness, a lot of regret. They could be drinking a lot right now or doing something excessive. But someone is really, really feeling sorrow and loss now. And so now we come to judgment. Why is judgment here? The King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Fool, and Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, so you need to make a judgment call, Pisces, because someone's coming back wanting to reconcile with you. They're going to be taking a leap of faith. I feel like they're just going to put themselves out there and um, and see, you know, whether or not you'll take them back. Judgment. Just coming in. This King of Pentacles is someone who's very good with their money. It's like they... They're coming in as a king now. So they're coming in like more mature than when they left. And so you're left here. The moon is your energy. I see you here when they come back fighting an inner battle. And there could be arguments with other people when they come back to with the Five of Wands. It's like other people may be not happy about this connection.
but I, I'm seeing this person, it's like they're in their ego, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or I mean Capricorn on the bottom of the deck. This person is going to have to, I'm trying to think of how to explain this. This person is going to have to come back and see they're the king of pentacles. It can be any sign, male or female, but this person is someone who's been working on themselves and building on themselves. And so they really need to let go of their ego to come back as the fool to you. Because they know what they, you know, they did something in the past here that made them a fool. What they did, it made them foolish. And they know this. And so they've got to go and approach you now and face you. And I'm not sure if you're going to take this person back. They could have had addictions. They could have been drinking too much or something. It's a temptation. It's going to be a, it's going to be tempting for you to take this person back because you may have made up your mind I'm not going to take this person back. Yeah, see they're coming with an apology now. Let's go over this. Here they are. And here you are showing up here as the king of cups, very loving, giving, kind. And they're coming in with a sincere apology. This is someone who's made a plan and they're stopped. But they're on their horse. It's like they want to come and apologize to you. Because I have judgment right here. They're making a judgment call. They want to work on this connection with you. I feel like they, like right now they're working on themselves. And maybe their money with the King of Pentacles energy. Because they want to come to you right. And um, with the Seven of Pentacles here, it's like everything that they've done, they're looking at it and they're disappointed. They put a lot of time, effort, energy, work into something that they've done and they're disappointed and they're ready to walk away from it. They're making a judgment call, see? They're walking away from something to come to you. Okay. What does Pisces need to know? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. What does Pisces need to know? Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And we have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And on the bottom of the deck, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And let me get you a Moonology card, Pisces. What do you need to release? And a new start is coming. And down on the bottom of the deck, I have the energy is gaining momentum. 